Hey guys, what's going on today? Today we're gonna do another screen recording video. And, and this one is actually just you, how to use the Nest app. Uh, of course, I've got a Nest thermostat in the house and I absolutely love having it. Uh, we've been doing a lot of travel in this past week. So of course I can always monitor the temperature of the house. I can actually turn it on and off rather than uh, having it run the whole entire time that we aren't home. Um, you know, I went ahead and of course, as you can see, uh, says we're away and that I've uh, actually set it to eco mode. So as soon as I wanna uh, kill eco mode, I'll just press that button and of course uh, you can see the leaf going on we've actually got the inside going at 78 of course rather than pumping all the uh, the energy into the house uh, when we're not there um, you can just come down here to eco in the lower left corner and of course you'd hit stop eco and it's going to throw the, uh, the the temperature uh, out there so, so you can actually change it up or down uh, just just like up, up there of course or you can just try to change it right here and it brings up the stop eco but i'm going to cancel that um, I want to keep eco mode on, but uh, something that I've learned that's been real helpful, of course, you come down here to the mode. Of course, these aren't like the old thermostats that require a jumper, you know, from a cold to a hot um, temperature. Of course, it automatically knows whether you, it wants heat or cold. So, of course, I always keep it at the heat and cold side. Of course, you can just go ahead and tell it to heat your cold just like the old ways, but uh, it's not a big deal. So, I go ahead and cancel that. We got eco there in the bottom. You've got a fan. You know, you can actually run your fan. Uh, just you know at any time for the next 15 30 45 minutes to an hour however long you want to run a fan for of course uh, i don't really use that feature either but uh one of the ones that i really do use is the schedule of course i'll go ahead and open it up and see you guys so of course you can always see there my house is always going to be heat or cold between 70 and 73 degrees and so one of the biggest features of course you know let's say you uh always take off for early friday and you want to come in Fridays and, and have it kick on a little earlier um, or, you know, you can set it lower. However you want to do it, it's it's up to you guys. I We do a lot of work from home, so I always keep my temperature pretty consistent because we never know when we're going to be home, um, which is most of the time, but we never know. Uh, you know, it's, it's, so I, if, I, if we go out of town for a couple hours, I might tell it to, to go on eco. But nonetheless, so let's say you wanted to change it Friday and let's say you were getting off at noon. So we're going to come over there in the, the lower right corner. We have the add and remove button. And what those are going to actually do is uh, add or remove a certain time. So let's say we want to add one at 12 o'clock. So we've got it actually at 12.15 right there. Of course, you can hold it down, drag it over till noon. So we've gone ahead and set that up to noon. Of course, you're just going to press and hold. And as soon as you do that, you're going to go scroll left or right. And you can see it jumps by 15 minutes. Uh, let's say we want it to kick on at... We'll do it at 68 degrees. You're, you're a super hot day. You want to come home to a nice... Um, nice cool house so you can go ahead and do that and of course you can tell the heat to go ahead and come back up as well and uh but yeah so that you just press and hold slide it up and down and then of course you know left and right will give you the time but as far as the temperature is concerned you just press and hold and then uh, of course now it's one the left or right option but i'm gonna go up and down and we can change it to uh, 73 71 of course let's say you uh take off that that you know you don't take off that friday or whatever you can just always come back in click it hit remove in the lower right corner press that 12 o'clock one and you can see i've gone ahead and erased it um so you can see that you can go into each day tell it to what what times you want it to do you can add however many you want i just keep it every so every couple hours let the house kind of find its equilibrium so to speak and uh, so that's one of the biggest things that i find uh helpful and of course uh you know it's one of those things you, you, you don't you don't hit the road and then you say, oh, crap, I forgot to uh, turn a thermostat on or off. Uh, this actually lets you just you can do it any time in the world in anywhere in the world. Cell phone connection, Internet, however you want to look at it. Um, but of course, it tells you the outside temperature back at home and the, the inside humidity. Uh, so hope that's been helpful. Um, if you guys got any questions on other things, how to do, I'll go ahead and hit the settings. You can see all kinds of the stuff that it allows you to do. Uh, you can remove the thermostat. You can change it to different names, auto, all kinds of stuff that it allows you to do. Um, great, great eco saver for us. We enjoy having it. And uh, yeah, as always, uh, feel free to comment, like, subscribe to us. And I uh, can't wait to see you guys in the next one. If you got anything down there, uh, anything, any questions, feel free to ask away. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. See you guys.